Welcome back. Our final discussion this morning is sports. And of course, Wally Scott uh, is right here in the studio. The 20th edition of the National Sports Festival has again been postponed to April 2021. The festival was initially scheduled to hold from the 14th of February to the 28th in Benin City, the Edo State Capital, before it suffered its latest postponement. The decision is taken, or rather was taken, at the end of the National Council of uh, Sports meeting held by Zoom on Monday. Edo State Governor uh, Godwin Obaseki uh, complained that the state lacked sufficient funds to host the sports festival due to the effect of COVID-19 on the finances of the state. The sports festival, which was, of course, initially built for March 22nd to April 2nd, has been continuously postponed due to the coronavirus pandemic. Wally Scott, um, good morning to you and thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you. Great to have you here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not, you know, unusual to hear of things like this. You know, it's, uh, sports has been affected across the whole world. Um, so, but is this one in any way a little different? It is because um, I think um, common sense demands that um, the COVID-19 pandemic is upon us. And um, around the world, sporting events have been postponed. You know, and when they initially said we're going to postpone the sports festival in Edo, everybody was all over the place. No, it's not going to happen. And I'm like, who are you going to fight against? You know, the world says shut down. And then you guys insist you want to do it. So if they postpone, I said, okay, good, in February, we'll do it again. You know, and I felt personally, I was one of the very few sports presenters around who said he doesn't need to hold. Why? These youths who are going to be at the sports festival. Yes, I agree. Uh, those states went out of there to actually get the Uniben in, in, in shape, you know, got the tracks, tracks and field together, you know. But I still felt that we've all been youths before at a point in our lives. And youths just don't follow rules. You know, it's adventure to go against rules if you're a youth. We've all been there. And to try and hold down 1,500 youths, at least, from different states in Nigeria in Uniben, they will cut corners, they will break rules, they won't wear their masks, they won't follow due process. And I, I just got scared. I listen, these youths will be at stake. One hit amongst those youths in Uniben, and it's over. We have 1,500, excluding their coaches and managers, 1,500 youths. And you can imagine three or four youths go through the fence in Uniben and go out to go and play, and then come back with COVID, and it's over. You know? But um, the Edo State government, I think. It's about looking into, I think it's about being um, self-centered. It's about, it's a do state. We want to host it. We want to beat Lagos to win. We're going to make money from the no, federal but, government. But the governor said that there's not, you know, sufficient funds to host the tournament. And, yes, of course, know, there won't be. Thing. Because they're expecting the federal government to send them funds. But we know that Edo State use their personal funds to ensure the road that leads to Uniben is, is all right. They got the place in shape, the school, the, the facilities in shape, you know. And, and um, they actually have told the students to be at home for quite a while. Now, Uniben is expected to resume, and you're still insisting you want the students to stay at home while other universities are actually in school because of the sports festival that might not hold eventually. We even heard this morning that the Bielsa State athletes received kits and jerseys from the governor to actually go embark on their, on their state sports festival. We are not sure this would hold. Even adults, their events have been postponed, and then youths who will not follow regular rules. I don't think it's a good idea, really. Not but for it, now. But how would this demoralize athletes who have been prepared and ready since March last year? Nobody expected the COVID-19 to come out upon us. Most um, other events, too, have been, they've been training for it, and then the events were just stopped. Why should Edo State government insist that our youths, our able-bodied youths who have, at least for the future for Nigeria, should get all packed up in Uniben, all 1,005 of them, to do a games, we're not sure the, the um, COVID pandemic. Let's assume the COVID pandemic breaks out in Uniben during the sports festival. Do we have the wherewithal to make it stop? Can we just send them all home? And say, okay, good, go and do it with your COVID pandemic. Go and 14 days quarantine on your own. We can't do that. We all the Nigerians. We are not spontaneous. We can't make it happen. We don't have anything in place. Let's assume the worst happens. The pandemic breaks out during the sports festival. Who do you think, um, who is left with the responsibility of um, deciding whether this will be once again postponed or cancelled entirely? We, we don't know. I, I don't know. But um, um, the Ministry of Sports are involved. The Governor of the State is involved. Um, the medical team in Edo State and across Nigeria will actually get involved, have a major meeting and say, good, will it be safe for us to do this? What if the outbreak breaks out? The pandemic breaks out in Uniben. What do we do? Yeah. All right. Um, well... 
we don't have um, you know all the you know time to go into this. You know, it would, it would have been interesting to see how this play. It will be interesting to see how this plays out. Um, I know that a lot of people are eager to go back to sports and you know and really sure, create, sure, yeah. create um, uh, activities like that, but. Um, they also need to remember the the importance of uh, being safe and staying yes, safe at a time yeah. like this. And these are um, youths, not adults who actually might, might follow rules. Yes, Some adults true. don't, but these youths don't follow rules. And they the, break rules. The COVID-19 figures in Edo State aren't also very, very beautiful. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Wallace <laughs> Scott, you, for Wallace Scott Thank you, Wallace Scott, for Thank you. All right, and that's where we will be wrapping it up uh, on the breakfast this morning. Thank you so much for staying with us through our different conversations uh, from, of course, uh, Iron Mike Tyson's story from 1992 all the Sunday way to... Umbaz. Yes. Iconic yeah, goal. Iconic goal. All the way to, of course, uh, Kaduna State and the conversation on banditry uh, by Governor Nasser El Rufai. If you missed out on any of these conversations, like we always say, get with us on social media. It's at Plus TV Africa, Facebook. Twitter, Instagram, same thing with our YouTube channel and catch up on any of these uh, uh, stories that you may have missed. Yes, thank you once again for joining us on The Breakfast. I am Annette Felix and of course with me my ever handsome delectable host, Sarah Ogoa. Have a great day.